Oh, this exhaust. I love it. I love it. <laughs> what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ram Dada. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about my Borla ATAC Final Impressions video. Um, I got this mug fully broken in now. I got about 700 miles on it. Uh, sounds amazing. Um, in this video, I'm just going to recap my experience with it. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about performance, um, any differences that I've noticed with the system itself, any problems that I had with the system, and uh, yeah, let's just start off with performance. Uh, we'll talk about miles per gallon. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Initially, I was getting two miles per gallon more, um, and that's when the system not broken in yet. Now that it's fully broken in, I'm getting about two and a half miles per gallon more. That's 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 a major key. That's definitely that's that's good. Um, and what's even better about that is that I'm not calm on the throttle anymore. I was probably a little more calm before I got the system, and now that I have it, I want to press down. I want to give it full throttle, and I want to hear that thing. I want to hear it. So um, I'm pretty sure if I was a lot more calm on the throttle, I might even get more than two and a half miles per gallon, to be honest. Um, now that we're still talking about performance, we'll talk about horsepower. Did I gain any horsepower? I cannot tell you definitively if I've gained horsepower or not because I haven't taken it to a dyno to do before and after. I can tell you that I have not noticed any um, substantial gain through uh, just touching the throttle. Um, but there's a caveat to that as well. I don't know if this had to do with the weather, if this had to do with you know the conditions of a, the road, my tires, whatever, but Prior to having this exhaust system, my best zero to 60 time was 6.3. And remember, I'm in a Challenger GT. Um, after I got the system, I got it fully broken in, I went to that same road, and the fastest zero to 60 time I got was six flat. Six flat for a V6. That's, that's good. That's pretty good. Um, so that brings me to the next question you guys may have. Did the system get louder? Yes. Yes. It got a lot louder. It's a lot less muffled. Um, it just sounds it sounds better. You get a lot more crackles and pops in it. Uh, you know. Bay's over here will stop doing the video, you, you know. Oh, doing doing a little video. video. She, I'm gonna keep that in there. I ain't gonna edit it out. Yeah, he was extra bright. He was extra bright. Where was I? Oh yeah, so we get a lot of crackles and pops in the uh in the exhaust now um and it just it's a lot louder than it initially was people hear me going by I actually went to go pick up uh, my boss and he's like man i heard you all the way down the street and i was like for real i had the music on i wasn't speeding or nothing and he's like man it sounds good so i took that as a, you know a little trophy hey yeah, it sound good but uh yeah so it definitely gets louder um how loud? It's a good question. I did a little scientific geeky stuff for y'all. Um, I actually did a decibel reading. So I did that with a iPhone app. Um, I did a little research on that app. They said the app was pretty accurate. Um, so what I did was I set the phone about four feet away from the exhaust, did a cold start, did a couple revs, and we got about 102 decibels for our peak loudness. So they said that's the equivalent to about uh, being at a concert, being at a loud concert. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's accurate, you know, but I can't say 100% how accurate it is. I did, um, what do you call it? I did calibrate the, um, the decibel meter beforehand, so everything to me, as far as reviews, uh, checks out. So I'm gonna say 102 was the peak on the revs. Um, and I'm actually gonna put up a video for y'all at the end of the video, at the end of this, my spiel so y'all can hear the uh the exhaust revving up and get the peak the peak loudness to see you know what i'm saying get your geek on get your geek on but um so i think that about wraps it up for this video right here uh i do have a flow master flow master review coming up pretty soon my pops he copied me when he seen i got the challenger gt he copied me he got the exact same car but he didn't get the same exhaust system. He actually got a Flowmaster put on his, so I'm gonna get a hold, get my hands on that, get a hold of it, do a review on that. Pretty much the same thing I did with this. I'm gonna do uh, with the Flowmaster. Let y'all 
uh, compare and uh, y'all could be the judge which sounds better, which, which you guys like more. It's definitely a, a different sound, I could tell you that much, but stay tuned for that video. Also, I have a pedal commander on the way. Amazon messed up my order. Made me wait two more days for it, but be on the lookout for that. Pedal commander coming soon. I'm gonna do a nice little review on that, let you guys see how it is, but uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Holla at me if you got any questions. Go ahead, shoot them, man. I'm at, I'll ask them. I'll ask them. I'll answer them. I'm nice and friendly, man. It's your boy, Ramdada. Y'all have a good one. Boo! All right, so in this video right here, I am going to do a decibel reading. Um, right now, if you can see that phone, I also have the screen record on. Um, it seems to be pretty accurate. Um, it's just an app on the iPhone, but uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a cold start, a couple of revs, and we're going to see how uh, many decibels this gets. All right.